Hi, I'm Mayor Carl Dean, and I want to welcome you to Nashville Reads. Every year, we ask Nashvilleians to read the same book at the same time. Then we invite people to discuss what they've read at book clubs and other gatherings around the city. Nashville Reads is a great campaign. It puts a focus on reading, literacy, and community building on a citywide scale. We're heading into the next Nashville Reads, and this time, we'll be reading Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. Between Shades of Grey has been sold in countries around the world, but its writer makes her home right here in Nashville. In fact, Ruta is here with me in the auditorium of the main library in downtown Nashville. Ruta, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your book so people can learn more. The story you've written is beautiful, but it's also very tough and it's very moving. It's about a young girl and her family who face very serious hardships under the former Soviet dictator, Joseph Stalin. Uh, why did you choose to write about this period and this issue? It was a very personal reason. Um, the story affects my father. My father was born in Lithuania, and when Joseph Stalin occupied Lithuania in 1940, uh, my family found themselves on the list, and so they fled, and my father lived in refugee camps for many years, and that's what we thought our family story was. But then I discovered in 2005 that my grandfather's extended family had been deported to Siberia. And I was shocked to learn this. And I thought that if this piece of history affected my own family and I didn't know about it, many other people probably don't know about this tragic part of history. So I wanted to give voice to those people who would never have a chance to tell their story. Between Shades of Grey has been sold around the world. Is there any one particular comment or question that you hear from people, no matter what their background or where they're from? Absolutely. The one question is, why do I not know this story? How could Stalin have killed 20 million people, and yet I'm not familiar with this piece of history? Is someone hiding it from us, or is it just something that slipped through the cracks? What would you say to Nashvilleans who have not yet read the book? Well, I would say um, that history divided us, but through reading, we have an opportunity to be united in story and study and rem uh, remembrance and memory preservation. And I know Nashville, you know, we have a very strong community here. And these people who experienced the crimes of Stalin, they came from a strong community as well. So I would ask Nashvilleans, read the book and ask yourself, would I survive? Please join Ruta and me for Nashville Reads and get started now by reading Between Shades of Grey. In the spring, join us for free book discussions and events across town. Be sure to check the Nashville Reads website for information at www.nashvillereads.org. Finally, join Ruta and me back here at the main library for a Nashville Reads finale on Tuesday, May 12th at 6.15 p.m. This celebration is free and open to all, and we hope you'll be there. Thanks for supporting literacy in Nashville.